Okay, so let's talk about our most anticipated movies this month. September is going to be a big one, and we have a ton of stuff planned. We're going to very much so go 100% with the channel, so get ready for a ton of videos dropping, a ton of new stuff as well, the podcast ramping up as well as we get into spooky season. So I decided to make a list video today of my most anticipated movies of September because September is pretty packed. I thought August was a pretty good month as well, even though some people thought it was kind of like bare. I think it still had some pretty good releases with Prey, Orphan, and just a ton of other stuff as well. So let's get into September and what it's going to bring. So I actually got a chance to see this movie Hong for Jesus yesterday and I thought it was great and that will actually be releasing this Friday and it's also cinema day this weekend I'll have a review on Hong for Jesus tomorrow so stay tuned for that but let's get into some of the other movies in the upcoming like weeks that I'm really looking forward to so number one on my list definitely is going to be Barbarian which comes out the week after and this one's definitely got in my interest peak the more I've seen so when I first saw this trailer I was already interested in it I think Skazgard is a great actor and I'm curious to see what exactly is going on in this movie the mystery and everything surrounding this first trailer was great and I am definitely more excited now that I've heard some of the critics that have watched it and some of the reactions from people that have gone to premieres and all of that for this movie saying you don't see it coming at all and one of the biggest twists and turns so I'm excited for this one and I cannot wait this one is going to be so so good and hopefully I'll get to catch it at the screening next week let y'all know more about that pretty soon we also have the woman king viola davis in this looks amazing the trailers have just been like all out octane like action driven and john boyega is in this as well this looks incredible i'm excited to check this out the set pieces and everything in this just looks like they really took their time to make it look as big and as a spectacle as it can and i'm very excited for this one i think it's going to have its premiere at tiff as well this month and i will definitely be looking forward to that tiff where's my invite y'all come on we also have Goodnight Mommy. This one's one that I wasn't really aware of was happening until like a couple of weeks ago, but I nonetheless am excited. I will be reviewing the old Goodnight Mommy, the old one. I make it seem like it's from the 80s or 90s. It just came out like seven years ago, but I will be talking about that movie next week. So stay tuned for that video next week where I'll go into it as well as we prepare for this remake that will star Naomi Watts. And I got a chance to look at the trailer. I talked about it on the channel already, talked about it on the podcast. By the way, new podcast episode dropping today, link down. Down below but i think that this one looks great i think for a remake and all of that i think they're going to maybe hit something here a home run hopefully but it looks good in my opinion i'm excited the story and all of that if you haven't watched the original definitely watch the original and then come watch this one i think the original is one of the best horror movies of the past like 10 years and i am definitely excited to see what they are going to do with this it will be on amazon prime but i believe if there's an alamo draft house near you they might be doing some screenings but make sure you check up on that i'm not sure because mine isn't doing it but yeah alamo draft house if you're listening why let's talk comment Next up is my most anticipated movie of September, and that is going to be Pearl. This is Ty West's prequel to the X movie that came out just this year as well. So in a matter of less than a year, we're getting a sequel, well, prequel to X, and I believe there's going to be a whole trilogy involved here. Mia Goff is going to be in both of them, and I'm excited for it. I cannot wait. This one's definitely looking to be a lot wackier and on another side of things than X was. Ty West has gone to say that this is going to be like a demented Disney movie, so that gets me more excited to see what exactly he means but everything about this looks great the poster the trailer and i'm ready for this one i'm ready to check this one out and of course we have don't worry darling and i don't know how to say it this but i think they might have to worry about how all of this is going about as you know this is all spewed and the drama and everything that has been going on this past i can't even talk right there i don't even know what i said but everything that has been going on these past weeks with this movie just in behind the scenes i feel has been the whole marketing for this movie for the most part the trailers are great i think florence Pugh is amazing i think that olivia wilde is a good director from booksmart but everything else behind all of this just makes me wonder what will the finished product look like so we'll see but this one's definitely one that i've been excited for for some time i've made some videos on it already 
check them out if you want. Hocus Pocus is coming to Disney Plus. I'm excited for this one because of course nostalgia and I think that it was definitely due for a sequel and we'll see where we go and where the witches are here. Bros is a film that just looks funnier and funnier the more I see trailers and snippets and clips and all of that. I'm excited for it. I cannot wait and this one's definitely going to be a big one for sure. Smile of course another horror movie that is going to come out this year is one that just gives me those vibes of Truth or Dare and like Countdown. Those type of movies that came out like prior to 2019 2018 time that were so popular in like the mid 2010s and I'm happy to go back to that sort of period of movies. It gives me those vibes. I don't know if that was the intention. I don't mean any disrespect of that, but that's just the vibes it gives me. I'm excited for this one. I think this one will also be a fantastic fest. I will be going to fantastic fest, but I don't know if I'll be able to catch this one, but we'll see. Blonde, of course, with Anna de Armas, which is the uh, biopic that she will be in as Marilyn Monroe. This one's coming to us on Netflix, and this one's definitely one that I am anticipating as well, just because of everything about it. Just looks great, the trailer as well, and just the marketing for it is great. So I'm super excited to see what the final product will be. The Monsters from Rob Zombie looks incredible as well. This one's just in time for spooky season. I believe it comes out in three weeks, I believe, like the 20s of September. So just in time for it to come out by the time October's here. I think it's going to release on Video On Demand, Blu-ray, and Netflix at the same time. Don't quote me on that, but I am definitely checking this out once it does release. I wasn't too sold on the trailer. I was more sold on the poster and the marketing, the picture stills and all of that. But the trailer, it's I'm a little, I'm a little uneven about it. Like, I don't know how to feel about it just yet, but we'll see what happens. And my best friend's exorcism just looks like a good time as well this one is going to be one of those movies i think that is going to get slept on but the more people see and hear about it more people are going to be coming for this one and just like jenna ortega i think is definitely sort of pushing the uh, whole horror genre with herself i think that um, elsie fisher here who is in this movie was also in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is sort of now this person that we see with horror really much so like surrounded by it so I'm excited to see what she brings to the table after this I think both of these actresses do good and I'm hoping to see more of them but these is a big list for September I think September is going to be one of my favorite years of the cinema world this year and I'm excited to see how all of these movies and of course you know I'm going to be covering them I'm going to be doing the ending explains I'm going to be talking about them as they get like ramping up to release we'll be doing watch parties live shows talking about them as well and that's not even talking about the TV shows that are coming out this uh, month like Lord of the Rings Atlanta to name a few so definitely a big month is September and it's just going to be better once we get to October spooky season we do have our podcast episode dropping today like I said and we do have the other one dropping on Saturday too this week as always and we'll be talking more about horror over there and some of the horror movies we just talked about here on our podcast on Saturday so stay tuned for that but as always, make sure you're following me. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can get there before the end of the month. I feel like, I feel it. I feel like we're going to get there for sure. Once we do, we will do a big giveaway, which will have a ton of stuff for sure. So stay tuned for that. But as always, hit that notification bell. If you haven't, make sure you're subscribed. Check out the videos on the left as well. Let me know what is your most anticipated movie of September. Like I said, for me, it is definitely Pearl. That is a movie that I've been hoping to see for some time now, especially when we first saw the trailer for it at the end of X, if you stayed for the after credits in the cinema. And they shot that back to back, and this is going to be part of the overall trilogy that Ty West is doing for these films. So A24 really has a lot of, I would say, um, what's the word? I'm missing the word in my head right now. Confidence. They have the confidence that this movie is going to do good. So that gets me excited. Hopefully it gets you excited. But as always, I'll see all of you next time. Like I said, subscribe, notification bell, check out the podcast. Culture Elixir is the name on Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. As always, stay safe, stay positive.